Saint Gregorius Abdul Jalil was born in Mosul, Iraq. He was ordained priest upon completing his theological studies. In 1654, Patriarch Ignatius Shemun I ordained him bishop by name Timotheus. Until 1664, Mor Timotheus Abdul Jalil served the Diocese of Amid or Diyarbakir in Turkey. Subsequently, Mor Timotheus was appointed Bishop of Jerusalem and the ecclesiastical name Gregorios was given as was the tradition. As per the canon of Barabroyo, 1994, page 64, Jerusalem, although it comes under the See of Antioch, shall be known as a Patriarchate, a special status accorded for various reasons. During the 16th and 17th centuries, Malagra Syrian Orthodox Church was subjected to different kinds of religious persecution and suppression from external forces. From the days of the Synod of Udembeidur, which was convened by a Roman Catholic Archbishop Alexis de Menezes in AD 1599, the Jesuits, with the support of Portuguese military power, was forcefully transforming the Christians of Malagra into their Roman Catholic fold. In 1653, Mor Ignatius Ahatullah, who was on his way to Malangara, was murdered by the Portuguese Navy and drowned in the Arabian Sea. This incident led to the historic Kuenangurisio Oath in 1653. Malangara Syrian Christians gathered in the churchyard at Matanjeri, then tied a huge rope around the ancient stone cross and pledged that they and their future generations will never accept the Roman Catholic faith that the Portuguese tried to forcibly introduce and also vowed to ever remain loyal to the Holy Apostolic See of Antioch, maintaining the ancient rites and traditions. Thoma Arkadiagon, who was leading Malangara Syrian Church during that period, sent a formal letter to the Patriarch Ignatius Shemuun I through Deacon Stephen Aspar of Amin. In the application, it was requested that an educated and Syriac father be sent to Malangara. The request was granted by Patriarch Abdul Masia I, and Mor Gregorius Abdul Jalil was sent to India in AD 1665. Mor Gregorius Abdul Jalil landed at the coastal village of Ponnani in North Kerala. He spent a few days at Ponnani in disguise for fear of the enemies of the church. A few days later, he met some Christian businessmen and revealed that he was a Syrian bishop and started his journey to Kotam. On 1st July 1665, Mor Gregorius ordained Thoma Arkadiokan Episcopa by name Marthoma I, the first known native metropolitan of the Malangara Syrian Church. With this act, the Holy Father re-established the Malangara Antioch relationship, which was cut off during some time. Later, both these bishops jointly travelled the length and breadth of Kerala, visiting various churches and preached to the people, and revived the spiritual traditions and faith of the Syriac Christians. His Holiness insisted on the use of leavened bread for the Holy Eucharist, allowed the marriage of deacons before priesthood, and removed statues erected in the church. As he was responsible for the re-establishment of Jacobite Orthodox faith, Mor Gregorius is known as Jacob Burdana of Malangara. In 1670, Mor Gregorius and Marthoma I together ordained Marthoma II. For 16 long years, his Holiness conducted the Malangara Syrian Church centered on Kotem in North Paragu. Mon Gregorio spent his last days at St. Thomas Church in North Paragu. For seeing his death, he took a bath and rest and the Westmans entered the church and slipped into eternal life on 27 April or May 14, AD 1681. His Holiness Patriarch Ignatius Zaka I was the first, declared Mon Gregorio a Saint Vide Apostolic Bull number 17 bar 2000, dated 4th April 2000. Later, the name of St. Gregorius Abdul Jalil was included in the 5th depiction of the Holy Kurbana, Vide Apostolic Bull number E50 bar 2006, dated 7 February 2006. The Feast of St. Gregorius is celebrated on 27 April. This festival is celebrated with great vows at North Parivur Church. The hand cross used by St. Gregorios had relics of saints in 11 cavities and one contained a portion of the cross on which Jesus was crucified. This hand cross is set out for public veneration on the feast day. On the day of the great feast, the Holy Kurbana is offered using the kasa used by the Holy Father. Thousands of pilgrims visit the tomb every year seeking his intercession.